Uh, I've had a lot of questions about how I use the HydroSeal uh, hydrocolloid bandages as a barrier between my sun's skin and the adhesive on the Dexcom sensor, so I'm putting together a little tutorial. Um, some of the things that you'll need uh, for this step is um, some alcohol uh, wipe for prepping the skin for cleaning. Um, I'm going to be using this washable marker to mark the skin where I'm going to place the pad. Um, skin tack is a great adhesive to prep the site and make sure that the hydrocolloid bandage stays in place. And then lastly, a sensor. This is a G5 sensor. I know most of you are probably using the G6, uh, as we will be soon as well, but um, we're still in the G5 right now, but you'll, you'll get the point even, even with the G5. Here you can see the uh, G5 sensor that I've just taken off of my son. Uh, we actually used a Rockadex because he was taking some time in the swimming pool, but you can see on the back here um, that the lead does punch right through this hydrocolloid bandage. So wanted to show you that because obviously you won't be able to see it on the new one that I put on. Here you can see where I removed the bandage. You can see the diamond shape where the bandage was and the point where the lead was inserted. But as you can see, um, uh, I mean, there's a little bit of redness, but there's nothing compared to the really bad red weeping rashes that he would get um, before we start using the HydroSeal. All right, to open the, uh, the bandage, you just peel apart this area here, and you'll see this is the hydrocolloid bandage itself. Um, uh, it's kind of a thick rubbery feel, but it adds a nice pad to, uh, to the skin where you're gonna place it. So, um, and then to put it on the skin, what I do is I, I kind of put it down where I want it to be, which is right you know, here on the back of the arm, it's a place that works good for us. Um, and then what I do is I kind of mark it and I, and I kind of do this little crosshair thing. That way I know exactly where it's gonna be and how to line it back up after um, after I've prepped the area. So there now I can kind of see the shape of where it's gonna be and I'll now prep that site with alcohol and skin tech. All right, first thing I do is uh, wipe off the area with alcohol just to make sure that it's totally sterile and clean before any leads go in. Um, and then I, then I take skin tech, uh, it's kind of got this little you know, foam ball applicator. Um, I really kind of squeeze that out so that it's just, you know, it's not dripping with extra adhesive because this stuff can get messy. Um, then the next thing I do is I just, I start along the top and I just kind of trace the pattern of where that bandage is gonna go, like so. And then I kind of work my way into a circle, but I leave the middle empty so that there's no, goo that ends up getting on the lead as it goes into the skin. Uh, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a hair dryer and I'm gonna use that to dry off the skin tack so that it's nice and dry and tacky. And then I'm also gonna use that to heat up the, um, the Hydra Seal itself. That makes it softer and more gummy and it's easier, you get a better adhesion uh, to the area. Right now it's kind of rigid and it wants to pop back up. Um, when you get it nice and soft, it works better. So this is how that works. All right, now it's nice and warm and soft and I, you now pull these uh, the backing off like so and now I know that I put the two marks at this side so what I do is I'll line up those marks and the marks down here and then lay the rest across like that and then I just hold this down flat to the arm for one minute all right now we've got the sensor placed I've held it down you know to the arm for one minute while uh, while it dries and it this gives it a, a better adhesion um, the reason I heated it up with the the hair dryer is these corners will sometimes pop up particularly on the sides here if it's if it's not you know warm and soft so that's why we use the uh, the hair dryer for that but now that it's on um, and I've had my hand on it I now wipe this down with alcohol again to make sure that that part is totally sterile all right, now that that's, uh, the alcohol's dry on there, the next thing we do is we take the, um, take the sensor itself, and we just stick it directly onto the hydroseal. And then 
make sure that it's nice, got a good adhesion. And then the next thing is you just pinch up the skin, I'll remove the safety, pinch up the skin, and just inject straight through the hydro seal. Now that it's in place, take the, um, take the transmitter, which we've wiped off with alcohol, and make sure that that's nice and clean. Um, we can now take that, we clip it directly into the sensor and it's ready to go. And now that we've got that in place, um, this barrier, there's now no part of the sensor adhesion that's adhesive that's touching his skin at all. So um, this has proven we've been using this for about five years now and we've never seen a rash from it. So hopefully it works for you.